Hey everybody, John Deshotsky. Wanted to give you a quick video on how to create a amazingly compelling company pitch deck and start to get a lot more investor meetings. I was the founder and CEO of a global co-living company. I'm currently a early stage investor backing pre-seed and seed stage companies. Here's the big problem. I get decks of all different sizes and lengths and they can be really, really messy, filled with a bunch of unimportant information and be so long and boring that you almost like fall asleep. You wanna think of your deck as almost like a trailer to a movie. The first deck that you send over to an investor needs to be compelling and catchy. There's certainly room for a much more deep and thoughtful conversation. What happens is sometimes big ambitious founders have all these big ideas on what they want to actually communicate about the company that they're starting. They get lost in putting, trying to put everything down on paper. Now there's a time and a place for that. Put that into to a memo, but your deck really needs to be simple and have just five to 10 specific slides. Number one, your title slide. What's your company name, a logo if you've created one, and how to reach you. Number two, what is the problem that your startup is solving? This should be a big, huge issue in society that you have experienced, people that you know have experienced, um, or you have observed is a big problem. The third slide is your solution. And this should just be a sentence. It doesn't need to be a product demo, it should just be plain English solution. The fourth slide is uh, what your product actually is. And it can be product imagery, um, it could be a specific use case of how your product works, um, but this should be like very cr crystal clear. The fifth slide is some sort of graph, right? And, and, and this is like users, uh, this is revenue, this is signups. What we're trying to convey there is it's really working. What you've built is really working. Next up, we wanna learn about you all. Right, so slide six is, who are you guys and gals? Um, and, and, and why are you working on this issue with a lot of people's slides here is they try to put impressive logos of companies, impressive universities that they went to. Those are fine, but what you should also include is one really compelling thing that you've done in business um, uh, previously, not just a, a list of places that you've been, right? So one specific thing that you've achieved that is extraordinarily impressive, that's adjacent to or related to the startup that you're, you're working on. You can include a market slide. Um, you can you know, in, show what TAM is gonna be. Um, those are really helpful if you're sort of creating a new market or a new category. Um, but if you're in a massive market, um, it's not necessarily always the most important thing to include. And then some additional slides you'll want to include are the competition, uh, who else is doing something like this? You can talk about the big incumbents in the industry that you're going to you know, be David versus Goliath um, against. Um, or you could talk about some of the other well-funded startups that are in your space and how you differentiate uh, between those. Talk about how you're gonna make money. If you're pre-seed and pre-product, it doesn't necessarily need to be specific and exact today. It could be multiple verticals uh, or multiple types of business models. Uh, but as long as you're starting to think through how you'll eventually make money, that's great. And then what is what is sort of the future look like? What does your long-term vision look like? Um, and then finally, what you need. Um, how much you're raising and what you're gonna use this money for, you know, what milestones you expect to achieve on that. And that's really simple, right? It's really, really, really important that you don't overdo it. I almost always see slides that are 15, 20, 30 pages long. And it's okay to have detail in the appendix. It's okay to have detail in a long form. But if you're sending a deck ahead for an introduction, this is really your commercial. This is your movie trailer. You just want it to be catchy and interesting enough so that investors who see hundreds and hundreds of decks every month um, will actually click through and want to take that introductory meeting.